Hi, Bill Jones from Turntastic Wood Designs. I made this table to fit on our deck. It's uh, kind of an unusual shape. Originally, when I was going to make it, we were uh, I, I laid out a uh, prototype that was square. But our deck is kind of small, so it was a little too invasive, so I just lopped the corner off. And in doing that, I decided to go with five legs. So it's a little bit different, but uh, I'll show you how I made it next. I have a pile of old pressure treated lumber that was from a friend who had a deck torn out. I've had it laying in back of a shed for a long time and it's basically laying there rotting. So uh, I was going to try to take advantage of some of that. I cut some old landscape timbers into rough lengths for the legs. I cleaned them up first on the jointer and then on the table saw. Then I cut them into legs two and a half inches square. I used mortise and tenon joinery to connect the aprons to the legs. To make the mortises, I started at the drill press and removed a lot of the material and then did the rest with the chisel. For the apron boards, I took some old decking boards, cut them to length, and cleaned them up first on the jointer and then on the planer. To make the tenons in the apron boards, I set the blade height on my table saw to a quarter inch. I then nibbled away the material on one face, then flipped the board and nibbled away the material on the other. And this is the frame dry fit together. The legs looked a little clunky being totally square, so I got out my tapering jig and tapered them down a little bit just to give them a little more style. Because this is going to be outside, I went ahead and used a waterproof polyurethane glue. It is actually activated by water. You dampen one side with a rag and then put glue on the other side. You put it together and that will last forever. For the top, I cleaned up some more deck boards and I started by making a frame. First, I cut the right angles at the chop saw. And here's the layout for the frame. To join the pieces at the top, I'm using quarter inch dowels. I drilled the hole using this self-centering doweling jig. And here's the top dry fit together. There's a lot happening all at once in this glue up, so I have to move really quickly. While the glue for the top was drying, I brought the base outside and sanded it up a little. After the top dried, I sanded it and joined it to the base using pocket screws. Well, I'm really happy with how it came out. And more importantly, my wife is happy with it. Happy wife, happy life. I'm also very ha pleased that uh, this was all from reclaimed materials that I had laying around. So uh, I feel pretty good about that. I, I love to be able to do that when I can. So if you have any questions about how I did this or, or anything at all, don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment below, uh, ask questions. I'd love to hear from you. 
Uh, please like and tell all your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.